but I, I love candy and uh, yeah uh, Mordic welcome good morning to you as well welcome to the show uh, this is around the coffee pot and we are where food and news collide we talk about things that are food related that are happening in the news and uh, so yeah that's this is our little real home cooking talk show right here every Monday through Thursday 9 a.m. and then of course on Friday we have a live cooking demonstration and this Friday is gonna be an exciting one because on this Friday I have no idea what I'm cooking and the reason I have no idea what I'm cooking is because no weed eats is gonna be bringing me a basket of items and he's not telling me what they are and I'm just gonna to have to figure out a way to cook a delicious meal out of whatever he brings me and uh, so you know we'll, we'll be looking for that surprise um, and, and, and kind of checking that out waiting for that so looking forward to that uh, let's see what we're talking about today once again is candy and today I want to start with the kinder joy I want you to take a look at this little video I have here this is the kinder joy two little nice chocolatey items they look like the Ferrero I don't know how you pronounce that other thing Ferrero whatever and uh, and then it's got a cream a chocolate cream and a light cream and then on the other side is on one side is the candy and on the other side is a toy all right so that's that's what that is so that's kinder kinder joy now these started out they were called kinder surprises now these are no, not right now not being sold in the US but that's the big announcement that these toys these candy toys candy toy eggs are going to be finally coming to the United States of America we finally get a chance to have them. Well, even though they haven't been sold here, they've been here for a while because we, we're global. You know, uh, we can buy anything from anywhere. So you can jump on Amazon. You can jump on eBay, you know, Alibaba, all these other places. And while FDA did not approve it, and I'll explain that in a second, FDA did not approve them being here, they were still coming in anyway. But now Walmart is going to be rolling out the Kinder Toys, the Kinder Joy eggs. And they're going to be starting here. They're going to be on Black Friday. They're going to be sold for about $1.35 at the Walmart stores. And um, these things are phenomenon. I mean, if you look on YouTube, you will see thousands of videos of people doing these opening the eggs and finding the toys and etc etc so this has been a big thing my kids had a, a, a channel and they wanted to do a, a video surprise opening the eggs and you know when whatever toy it is you kind of just reveal it to the world so uh, these things were huge now the problem with the original kinder surprise eggs was the concept of it it was toys little tiny toys inside of a chocolate egg FDA didn't approve it uh, they thought because of the fact that uh, of the design of it that the toys would be a choking hazard as a child might just look at the egg and instead of just breaking the egg open taking out the toys and then eating the chocolate that they would bite into the chocolate obviously giving a, a choking hazard and so the FDA did not approve of them being here. Uh, obviously, once again, they were here anyway because people imported them, bought them online, and had them shipped in, but the FDA didn't approve it. So no U.S. retailers were able to sell those eggs, even though they were high in demand, very popular. Uh, but now things have changed. The design, if you look at the design of the egg now, you have two different compartments so you have one compartment that has the candy and the other depart compartment that has the toy so I'm trying to see if he opens up the toy in this video I'm using looking at someone else's video there we go there's the toy side so 
So you got one side with the candy and the other side with the toy. Right? Um, yeah, Tan says that people had people and kids had choked on them. So yeah, that obviously is a choking hazard, which I, I I fully understand. I fully understand why they said no. But once again, now things have changed. They went back. They realized that they 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 were not capitalizing on one of the biggest markets out there. So they went ahead and went back to the drawing room and and came up with this new design and now Walmart as well as other stores are going to be marketing these items selling these items here right now around Christmas time that's that's thinking that's good thinking good marketing there as well so uh, the candy let me tell you a little bit about the candy because I was I was kind of a little excited about this because uh, Kinder Eggs Billions are sold in 170 countries around the year, but until now, this popular candy, take this name out, from Ferrero International. You heard that name before? Didn't that little candy look familiar? Uh, this is Nutella's parent company. It had not been available stateside because of the FDA regarding non-edible items hidden within food stuff. Right, this version is going to be available in the U.S. It comes with a plastic egg-shaped package comprised of two separately sealed halves, one half containing an edible treat made of two, listen to this, two soft cream layers. One is sweet milk cream flavored and one is cocoa flavored. Nestled into the creamy layers are two round chocolate-covered wafer bites that are filled with semi-cocoa cream that's soft enough to be eaten with the included spoon doesn't that just sound delicious ah you know i guess the reason i i think they're delicious first of all i love the ferrero uh, uh candies the uh, hazelnut nutty all oh, the candy and that's exactly what i see in that uh and then i love nutella i must admit my kids have gotten me into that that hazelnut cream uh, cocoa spread and uh and so i just kind of see all those things played out right there so i'm i'm intrigued and will buy it so that my kids can taste it and of course as a responsible parent that i am i will make sure that i taste it before they do because i don't want to give them something that's not good so yeah anyway looks fun looks interesting looks like something i definitely want to try to taste myself all right so that's the kinder egg we're going into the bonus round done with the kinder egg unless you guys have any questions or comments about that let me take a look at that snickers the shark says that snickers used to be called marathon bars wow you know what he said when he was a kid i i never knew that Never knew that. Marathon bars. Huh. I wonder why that is. Well, I guess, you know, Snickers gives you a good boost of energy. It takes away the hunger. I mean, that's why I had a Snickers bar yesterday. I mean, I was hungry and uh, I, I, I looked around. I was at Wawa. Any Wawa fans out there? Wawa? Y'all know what Wawa is? All right. Wawa. It's making its way around the country, but uh, it, it, it's our equivalent. It's our, it's a better version of Royal Farms in my opinion my opinion we don't sell fried chicken there but we got a lot of good stuff cheesesteaks and hoagies and great coffee and yeah anyway um I was at Wawa and I got myself I was a little hungry and I just got myself a little Snickers bar just to kind of curb the appetite until I was able to come home and cook my wonderful curry chicken wings and some basmati rice that was real good i didn't make a video of it but it was some good stuff so um Denine says she knows wawa okay wawa i think it's a is it an east coast thing so Denine, are you on the east coast you must be on the east coast um i know wawa is making some moves into the west and i actually i think i remember someone telling me that one was coming to california so, uh, but uh, Wawa's real good. All right, so Kinder, we're done with that. I don't see anybody talking about Kinder at all. The 
Ferrara Ball. Mm-hmm. And I know that sometimes it, there is a delay. But, okay. Let's move on to round two of the candy. Today's candy show. Let's look at... Check. Ah! Uh, where'd it go? Uh-oh. Where'd my image go? There it is. There it is. Jelly Bean Company. The Jelly Bean Company is... First of all, I love Jelly Bean. But they've coming out with this new holiday flavors. Take a look at the flavors. Eggnog. Candy cane. Pumpkin pie. Cranberry sauce. And hot chocolate. Can you everybody say yum? Yum. I mean, that's, that's awesome. First of all, I, I, I love the Jelly Bean Company. I remember... Um, I think the first time I had it, I was in high school, and that's when they started getting popular. Middle school or high school is when they started getting popular for me. Uh, I graduated in 91, so they must have uh, come out in the 80s, um, or at least that's when I was exposed to it. Maybe, they, maybe they've been out even longer than that, but that's when I was exposed to it in the uh, uh, mid to late 80s. Jelly Bean Company makes delicious jelly beans, gourmet jelly beans that taste whatever it says that they are. It they really make it taste like exactly what it says. So you see eggnog, candy cane, cranberry sauce. You're gonna have a jelly bean that tastes exactly like that, and sometimes even better than the original. One of my favorite jelly beans is, believe it or not, buttered popcorn. Ah. Oh. Love the buttered popcorn jelly bean. And and it, it doesn't sound like it even should be a jelly bean, but it, it is delicious. Well, here they have these holiday favorite treats now. And these uh, these holiday favorites uh, composed of these eggnog candy cane pumpkin pie. So you don't even have to go out and buy dinner. Just go ahead and get yourself a bag of these beans and just pop them. They sh why, why don't they make turkey and gravy, you know, and all, and stuffing? And then that, that way, we don't even have to go out and buy and cook. You can just sit there and eat jelly beans. But uh, they, they're, they're really good. Um, this holiday is called the Holiday fl Favorite Flavors. They're going to have these five flavors that are going to capture the essence of the holiday. Now these, this is only limited time. So that means uh, when I go to the store and find them, I'm gonna have to buy like 10 bags and put them up. These gourmet jelly beans are gonna be on the stand and then they're gonna be disappear and you won't see them again. Or, or maybe you won't see them again to just the next year, depending upon how popular you are. Jelly Bean Company also does the, um, have any of you guys done the uh, bean boozled bean boozled is also by the jelly bean company and they have uh, my kids have done this so that's why I know about this and matter of fact I think I did it with them on on their YouTube channel once um, they have some nasty flavors like stinky socks vomit um, so they got some real nasty skunk flavor and so you got this this game board. Matter of fact, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it right here on one of the times. I'm gonna have my kids around and we'll do the bean boozu. They call it the bean bean boozu challenge. And you take there's like a little spinner and you spin the spinner and it tells you which color to draw. And let's say it's uh, uh, stinky socks. Stinky socks is gonna look identical to a good flavor. And so you have uh, let's say stinky socks and Let's say Stinky Socks was blue color, and then the, the other jelly bean would be a blue raspberry, for instance. I'm just making that up. Um, so you don't know which one it is. You just go in and pick out the blue color because it landed on the blue. You pick that up and pop it in your mouth, and if it's, uh, if it's a, uh, a good flavor, then you get a point. If it's a bad flavor, obviously you're going to know by the expression on your face because the thing is nasty and uh, you'll spit it out or whatever. And it's just fun. It's just fun. So um, 
Take a look at it. Your kids will, kids will enjoy it. We're planning a trip for Thanksgiving to go up to uh, Connecticut, to go to Connecticut. And uh, my kids, are, the first thing they said, because we got some friends up there and they have children and they're great friends with them. And uh, so the first thing they said is, can we buy Bean Boozled so we can play that when we get up to Connecticut? So uh, maybe I'll do the video there up in Connecticut. Check that out. Um, Bruce says, do it. He tells me to do it. He says, it's hilarious. He said, you will get sick. Just a warning. Listen, uh, Bruce, I have done it. I didn't get sick, but it is sickening. Some of the flavors are sickening. So, uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that is, that is a weird one. Denine says she knows uh, about it as well. Uh, so uh, maybe she's already done it. If not, Oh yeah, there's a grass clippings one. Uh, Smitty says that he likes the grass clippings. The grass clippings actually weren't that bad. Um, of course, they're not the favorite flavor or anything like that, but they tasted natural. Tasted like nature. So <laughs> it's kind of, kind, of, kind of, you know what? That That's a fun one. That is a fun one. And uh, so I, I am going to go ahead and, and, and uh, do that right here. Oh yeah. Bruce, you just reminded me of one of the nastiest ones. Oh man, my, my actually when I just read when I just read what you put, my stomach just churned because ah the taste. You know, sometimes when you remember something and you can remember the taste and your salivary glands and everything just connect with it. Well, Bruce was talking about the dog food flavor. Bruh. Bruh, that dog food is nasty. Oh my goodness. That is nasty. So, yeah, I, I might I might have to pick the the na Well, I, you know what? You don't even know which ones to pick out because I think the dog food was the same as the chocolate or root beer or something like that, something crazy. So, yeah, it's it's a fun time. Denine says she has it with her fun with excuse me, she does it with her kids and it's fun. So, yeah, yeah. I don't necessarily. It, it's a fun experience. I don't know that the beans themselves and eating those nasty beans are fun, but you get a laugh out of it, and 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 uh, so yeah, it's popular. We will do it. We will do it for sure. Mm. Well, guys, um, that comes to the conclusion of today's show. You know what, man? A half hour really goes quick, doesn't it? It really goes quick. Uh, I want once again to remind you. Check out my ginger tea recipe. Um, I just put it up. I want get, to get, get a little traction going for that over the, because of the holidays coming up and be able to share that with as many people as possible. Um, it is not only a drink for colds. It's a really refreshing drink itself. Here, let me let you see a look at it. For those of you who came in late, um, here is the ginger tea. Boom, boom, boom. And uh, you can kind of see a little bit of the, uh, the ginger uh, residue, starch, whatever you want to call it, settling at the bottom. But this right here, take that. That's going to knock, help knock that any cold you have. Um, you're going to open up your throat, open up your nose. I put a pinch of cayenne pepper in there. Now, I, I actually used uh, African cayenne hot pepper but uh you you use what, what what you want and maybe you want to admit it all together because it is potent itself but the cayenne cayenne helps open things up as well as and you know also the uh, ginger does as well so um you know i've got a little bit of that cayenne in there i've got ginger i've got honey i've got sugar i've got some ground mace i've got some uh um cinnamon some lemon so you got a lot of good stuff in there and check out the video check out the video because uh, um, i'll let you see how to do it put some likes on it put some comments on it i really appreciate it uh tomorrow morning once again right here real home cooking i appreciate everybody that came on on this morning and uh yeah the, the shark said he has some old jamaican ginger beer that he drinks that's imported from Jamaica. It's the number one ginger beer in the UK. You know, I was also in, we went to Bermuda 
this last last uh, last year. Well, actually, this year, earlier this year. Um, so around July, we went to uh, we took a cruise and we went to Bermuda. And in Bermuda, there was this ginger beer. Let me see if I can find the name of it. That was the I mean, it was awesome. Let me see, Bermuda ginger beer. Yeah, Barrett's. Barrett's ginger beer. Um, now, I like a strong ginger beer. Strong ginger beer. Matter of fact, my ginger um, tea is strong. I put, not only do I cook the ginger down, um, but I also put in a shot at the end, a good you know shot of uh, raw ginger juice to the tea after it was already cooked and so because i want that potency i want that raw you know ginger potency now mine needless to say even though i love strong ginger beer barrett's was very um s s smooth you got that good ginger flavor um but it, it wasn't overpowering and my family loved it because of that and so, you know, we, we, we bought a whole bunch of it over there, took some to bring back home, and I'm already out of it. So I think I'm going to order some online because uh, they, they, it's pretty good as well. But uh, that's from Bermuda. And uh, the shark says his ginger beer is the number one in Jamaica. Jamaica man. Um, yeah. Cayenne and ginger. <laughs> Bruce says he's... He's getting a cold. Uh, he's getting a cold because of the weather change. So you check it out. Bruce, check it out. Make it. It's simple. It's easy. I just put it in the, in the blend. Pretty much the only tool I'm really using is the blender in order to, to get my ginger down. So check it out. All right. I'll see you all tomorrow right here. Same bat time. Same bat channel right here. 9 a.m. God bless. Take care. Real ones. I'll see you there tomorrow. God bless. Adios. Ciao.